Okay, here we go. First summer 2024 honey pull has now started with our Hillco spinner. Man, look how gorgeous that stuff looks. Nice dark amber colored. It's going to be some good, good stuff. Stay tuned. We might go live here today during the summer honey pool. ECP over and out. Okay, we found some lighter spring honey. This entire box we're bottling right now. This is going to be the family honey. Yum, yum. Spring honey. Found a light box in here. Hey man, happy 4th of July. I hope you and the neighbors have a good time, but we're covered up. I'm boxing supers, draining cappings tanks. It's the only time we got to do honey. It'll take us several days. Hope you're doing well. Y'all have a good time. To our best said happy 4th of July. We're bottling honey, 4th of July. Hope y'all are doing well. Safe travels to Louisville, my friends. Okay, here we go. First draw or pull on some Docks Creek honey. There you go, Tim and Joyce. Your first real honey pull. It's coming out. It looks kind of light. I got some of that autumn olive off the hill there on the other side of the road. Just starting. A lot of the frames are very, very light, but hopefully we'll get some. Some's better than nothing. You all take care. Talk to you soon. Okay, I'm going to make a little quick video here. I haven't been making many videos this year just because I haven't had a whole lot of time between work and whatnot. But we have been extracting honey here 4th of July weekend. And we've set our search first set of boxes out here. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the roar. Bees are working it. This is out here by my house, so these aren't even my bees. These are somebody else's bees, feral or otherwise, that clean out my super so I can put them in the garage for the year. But uh, hey, I'll try and show you some spinning and uncapping here too for this 2024 season. But a lot of bees have found some nice stuff. And you can tell that the dearth is on full flow. Without a doubt, our dearth is on top of things. All right, here we go. Last few frames of 2024. This looks like some beautiful autumn olive honey. We're going to start here at the top. We're going to go down. Boy, look at that golden goodness. Tell me that's not beautiful. Beautiful golden goodness. 2024, almost in the books. There we go. Wow. Golden goodness. We'll be spinning it here in just a minute. Okay, last box for 2024. I think I've got four more frames after these six spin. 10 frame box, darker honey on this box. Boy, some gorgeous golden deliciousness. Is that a word, deliciousness? Anyways, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you keep watching. It's been a fun year, and uh, I know I haven't made a lot of videos, but you know, work is time consuming with your real job and with, and with your hobbies. Again, thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. Still go. Listen how quiet. Man, is it slinging the honey out of those frames. Let's see if I can turn it down so you can sit in it a little bit. A, turn it down to watch the sound. Got a forward and a reverse. That almost a stop. Hey, 
go. Let's go back up. Pretty neat stuff. Nice piece of equipment from John at Hillco. John Hill, thank you for making such a great piece of equipment. So I wanted to show you my Hillco bottling tank. And what I did was I ordered from Amazon one of the five gallon heating blankets that you can put over and heat your honey up so it flows even better. But I've got the new dripless valve from John. And uh, this is the five gallon bottling tank. Highly recommend. And if you want to heat the honey, get you one of those uh, heated blankets there. 110, 800 watts. And you can see the temperatures will go up. I think I put on my 120 when I start bottling, which it doesn't take the honey to 120, but it heats it up enough to where it flows much, much easier and bottling becomes much, much quicker. Since we're showing you all the different parts of the operation, here's the uncappings tank. Man Lake uncappings tank. Got to strain it into my wife's uh, three gallon pots. But uh, it does quite well. It strains out those cappings, does a great job. And uh, we like it for a small operation. We basically have exactly what we need. This is year five and we're enjoying ourselves. Didn't get as much honey as last year, but we definitely got some great quality honey.